Simon Bank Liberty Stadium, originally named Memphis Memorial Stadium and later Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. This is the birth of the Tennessee Oilers. The stadium was originally built as Memphis Memorial Stadium in 1965 for three million as part of the Mid-South Fairground, then home to one of the South's most popular fairs. Its design is similar to the old Tampa Stadium, the Big Sombrero, with the end zone grandstands being much shorter than the sidelines. The stadium is designed in such a way that of all seats having a relatively good view of the most of the playing surface. This is due primarily to two design factors. The stands are relatively steep for a one tier true bowl stadium. Also, there's a little space between the side and the end lines of the playing surface and the stands. In 1997, the NFL Houston Oilers announced that they would play two seasons in Memphis as the Tennessee Oilers before the Adelphia Coliseum, their new stadium in Nashville, now Nissan Stadium, was completed in time for the 1999 season. The largest stadium in Nashville at the time, Vanderbilt Stadium, then seated only 41,000 fans, too few even for temporary use. Vanderbilt University was also unwilling at the time to let beer be sold at the games. Although the Volts, Nalon Stadium in Knoxville was slightly closer to Nashville, it was, team, it was deemed too big for an NFL team. Pepper Rogers was named the Oilers Director of Memphis Operations. The team was to live and practice in Nashville, commuting to Memphis only for games. Although the idea seemed acceptable enough to the league and the team at the time, the 1997 season was a disaster because of the lack of fan ownership for the temporary team. Many Mephinians wanted nothing to do with the team, which could be lost in two years, especially to longtime rival Nashville. For their part, Nashvillians were skittish about having to drive 210 miles to see quote unquote their team play. An unfortunate co coincidence, Interstate 40 was undergoing extensive repairs just east of Memphis at the time. This lengthened the normal three and a half hour drive from Nashville to Memphis to five hours or longer. As a result, the Oilers played some of the smallest home crowds seen in NFL since the 1950s for the most games. And the visiting teams often seemed to have more supporters than the Oilers. Even though none of the Oilers' first seven games attracted more than 27,000 people, Oilers owner Bud Adams was initially willing to stick it out in Memphis for one more year. However, that changed with one, only one game that drew more fans than could be comfortable been accommodated at Vanderbilt. The year's final game, the Pittsburgh Steelers. While 50,000 people showed up, the great majority of them were Steelers fans. Adams was so disgusted he ripped up the Memphis agreement a year earlier in favor of playing in Vanderbilt in 1998. This stadium has so much history, so much Titans history, even for the two years. And yes, the birth of the Tennessee Oilers happened with Steve McNair, Eddie George, and the list goes on of great players that actually were physically on the field. Even if it was only two years, this will always go down this stadium as part of Titans history because yes, the Tennessee Oilers are the Titans. We are history. Just so many memories I would love to see Eddie George run in that stadium and it was awesome to see and to experience that. I want to thank everyone who's actually watched this video and hopefully let you guys learn something about Liberty Stadium. Remember, guys, we always have dreams of seeing 
thinks this is one of my dreams. And definitely, heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Thank you, and tighten up.